Greetings, everyone. My name is Mitchell Lane, and today in this presentation, I am going to be showing you how to create, edit, and launch a Kahoot. Now, there are a lot of other things that, that can be done through Kahoot. I, in my classroom, I use it mainly as a review and study tool at the end of units. And what we're going to do is just show you the basics of how to set it, set one up and edit questions and some of the questions that can be used and then how to actually launch the Kahoot to be uh, used by your students. It's basically an interactive quiz game. You will display the questions on a smart board or through a projector of, of some kind and then the students on a device, whether it is a cell phone or an iPad or a computer, anything with internet access, they will answer questions either through the Kahoot app or through a web browser. So I'm going to log in. You will need to set up an account first before you do this, but I'm going to go ahead and log in and it will take you to the home page. You can just get a free basic account. They do have uh, more advanced accounts that you can pay for, but I just have a basic account. And what you're going to do first is go up to the top right and click create. And you are given some different options of what you can do. Creative, uh, create and teach interactive lesson plans, teach with slides, Kahoot for formative assessment, practice spelling and adjectives with a puzzle and a student selfie Kahoot. We are just going to create a generic Kahoot. So you click create and what pops up first is the basic probably most popular question type, and that is the quiz. It's basically a multiple choice question, okay? When you go to add questions, you see the different question types here, whether it's a quiz like was just on the screen, a true false, a short response where a student has to type in an answer, a puzzle, which is kind of like ordering. They have to order four events, put four events or answers in a certain order a poll or a slide. We're going to take a look just at the quiz and true false as these are the ones I, I, I stick to using. So the first one we're already going to look here is a quiz. So you would type in your question here. We're dealing with ancient Greece right now. So my question is going to deal with that. What city was the educational center of ancient Greece. Okay. And you can no notice that you have only a certain number of characters that you can use. So you need to keep your questions relatively small, short, and then you come down and you enter your potential answer choices. So the answer is Athens. I typically do the answer first and then we'll enter some other cities like Sparta, Corinth, and Thebes. Now you have to select at least one correct answer. For this question, there's only one, and that will be Athens. And you select and, and put the check mark in the little circle. What you can do is upload a YouTube link. If you had a video that you wanted to show and then ask a question about, you can even upload an image. If, if you were asking about a particular person, you wanted to put their picture up there to kind of uh, help the students out. Some other things that are available to you while building this particular question. You can set the time limit here anywhere from five to 240 seconds that they have to answer. I typically, I typically stay with 20 to 30 seconds for these multiple choice questions. That's the amount of time to read and then respond on their unit. Once you've selected the time, you can also adjust the points anywhere from zero to 2000. I go with the default, which is a thousand points. So now this question is done. We are going to add a true false. So we go to Add question, and you over here on the left-hand side, you'll be able to see your questions as you build your Kahoot. So I'll add a question, and this time we're going to do a true or false. So very similar format here. You're just going to have two answer choices, true or false, so we need to type in a question that can be answered in one of those ways. So we're going to talk about Leonidas. Leonidas was a Spartan king. Okay, a statement question, a statement that they can answer true or false to. And in this case, it is true. All right. Once again, you can set the response time and also the, the number of points. Also, just like with the quiz question, you can insert an image or a YouTube link. Now, typically your cahoots are a little bit longer. 
you can add more questions, more quiz questions, or more true-false. But when you are done, you will then be ready to launch your Kahoot. Okay? You're ready to play the game with your students. So you will go and hit done. Once you're done with your Kahoot, you have to give it a title. So we're just going to do sample Kahoot and hit continue. And then the Kahoot will show up in your Kahoot tab. So up here in the top, you have some tabs. If you click on Kahoot, you will see your sample Kahoot right here. What you'll do is you'll click play and you have some choices here. You can either assign it to where the students can go through it uh, on their own self-paced or what I typically do is the teach portion where we do it live in the classroom. Okay. You hit, you hit create or play and it will load it. Now this is the launch screen. You'll be able to select if you would like to do a classic mode, which is each player on their own device, player versus player, or team mode where they share a device and they can team up. We'll do a classic mode, but before you click that, you have some options down here on these sli these uh, sliders. Okay, I always turn on personalized learning. You can click on view details and see what that does, but it allows players essentially to review difficult questions after the live game. So if they struggled on one, they can go back and look at it. You can adjust the lobby music. One thing that I always do is I randomize the order of the questions, so it's, it's a little bit different every class, and also the order of the answers, so it jumbles up your answer choices. Down in advanced settings, you can have it automatically move through questions. I like to do that myself so that I can pace it and, and then review a question if I need to. Once you have your sliders how you want, you will hit classic. And that will bring up, and we might hear some music here as the Kahoot gets going. I am going to mute it. There we go. I'm going to turn it down so you can hear me. Okay. This is what will be displayed to your students. This is what needs to be on a smart panel or through a projector somehow where your students can see. The questions, the answers, and the leaderboard will all be viewed here. Students will, on their device, enter their game pin, unique to each Kahoot, and then they will be prompted to enter a name. I make them use their, their, their personal name. I don't allow nicknames or anything like that, although they can. As they enter, this lobby area will be populated with their names as they add. And you can keep account, you know, if you have 21 students in your class, when you have 21 players, you can then hit start. Once they're all in, you will then click start. The Kahoot will begin. It will start with the first question. Once all players have answered or the time limit is up, it will show the correct answer and how many students selected which answer choice. It does not show which students got which ones wrong. They'll see that feedback on their own individual screen. After each question, it will bring up the leaderboard and you can see the top five students as they are gaining points by answering questions correctly. The leaderboard, once again, will appear between questions and then you will advance to the next question. So, in conclusion, during this presentation, you have seen some of the features available through the Kahoot platform. I have shown how to create a Kahoot, how to add a couple different types of questions, how to customize your Kahoot before launching, and the basics of how the quiz works. I hope you all have learned something new about this cool tool by watching this presentation. Thank you and have a great day.